Oh. Good lord, not another one. Who was it this time? Whittingsworth? Boggins, sir. Blast! Well, not, not your figure of speech. Idiots! You're trying my patience. Let me speak to someone who can get things done. Someone who will speak to me politely and will treat me with respect. The next voice I hear had better be courteous and pleasant, or I'd kill every last one of you stinking coppers! Sir, if you will, I would suggest Detective Inspector Hector. His people skills are ideal to ensure this situation be settled amicably. Hector? The obnoxious, troublemaking alcoholic? I'm sure he'd consider it a pleasure, sir. Lambert! Oh, don't make me go out there, sir. I told Philomena I'd make it home by six tonight, alive. <laughs> We need Hector. Where is he? Oh, right, sir. Uh, he's um, well, he's likely off solving one of the many violent and atrocious murders Clappers Rick is so famous for. Well, he's your partner. Find him and bring him down here to deal with this shamble swiftly. Hector, sir? You sure? Yes, for God's sake. Get me desk. Get me Hector. What the hell happened last night? Last I remember was doing the conga with a nun. Or was it a goat? No fat bird lying next to me this time. Good sign. Bit breezy in here. Oh, bleed now. Where'd me kicks go? Oh, Dame Helen Mirren. You'll always be the only woman for me. There's something in there. Uh, uh. I need something to pry it off with. Almost busted a nail. So that's where the last guy went. Crook who dug this must have been kicking himself. Leads right into the next cell. Crook who dug... Crook who... There's something in there. Uh, uh. I'll need something to pry it off with. Almost bust. No way I can fit through there, but I do see something shiny. A spoon. Now all I'll need is some cake. Oh, that phone guaranteed some idiots on the other end. Not much left. I suppose I could carry it round and inhale the fumes all day. Let's see if there's something useful under here. Well, that condom's huge. Uh, of course it is. It's mine. It's a special brand. Coach pokers. The ladies ask for them by name. Oh. That's done it. <laughs> Evil is afoot. I could use this lace to hang myself. The only thing this net will catch is gonorrhea. There's a paper clip down there. Could do as a makeshift lockpick if it wasn't covered in human waste. Let's go fishing. Let's never speak of this again. If you squint, it looks a little like a key. Can't anyone use a phone in this ruddy station? That did it. That way. That way leads to reception. Ratty doesn't like. Glad to be out of here. Now I know how Mandela felt. Ah, maybe happy hour's been brought forward. 
Speak. Oh, oh, thank goodness, boss. I've been trying to reach you for ages. We've got a situation down at Nun's Itch. Some psycho's gone hostile on us. He's already topped 11 of our best negotiators. Oh, Christ, another bleeding nut job. It's not that Judith Fisher again, is it? I already told her domestic disputes do not always need to be settled with a sniper rifle. No, no, it's not her. Oh, just get the car and get over here now, before this gets out of hand. Oh my God, we've just lost another one. Oh, I guess my mid-morning nap will have to wait. Right. Step one, car. No, wait. Step one, trousers. Help! Someone! Ha! Pedo's escaped from the cells! Yeah! Pedo! Pedo! Shut it, runt. I'm a bleeding detective inspector. I hate pigs. I liked you better when you was a pedo. Ah, F the policeman. I don't have time for this. Is this what passes for a criminal these days? Yeesh. Are you what passes for a cop these days? Yeesh. Police, I need to commandeer your trousers. <laughs> are you are you a pedo or something, mate? Perhaps I need to work on my opener. Hey, Rum, what are you doing here? I stole something. You got me, bruv. Charge me so I can clear off. Didn't I see you in here last week? Yeah, I'm still waiting to be charged. You can't rush justice. I'll call your mother to come get ya. Ah, she's probably still out clubbing. She won't be able to drive till at least noon. No, I mean, what are you doing here when everyone else is pissed off? Look, if I go home without getting charged, I'll be dissed off by my crew, yeah? We give out asbos like complimentary mints around here, mate. You want real respect? Oh yeah, bruv? You got something better? How about indecent exposure? Oh yeah, indecent exposure, right? In the X, they call me. Nice tag. What do I have to do? Nothing. I just need some evidence from you to stick in any old unsolved case file. What kind of evidence? Your trousers. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Conviction should be airtight. My mum's sold my name into them. Oi! You're disrespecting my friends! Not a bad fit, ignoring the smell of urine. Get back here with my trousers, them's mine! Let that be a life lesson to you, you little crud. You want a free ride? Join the police. It's strangely oxymoronic. Oh, the smell of clappers reek. Oh wait, there's a dead cat in the gutter. Hey, sugar. Got the time? Sorry, darling. There's hostage crisis underway. No time for a quickie. A quickie? I was actually asking about the time. Oh, uh, it's uh, 10.30, I think. Thanks, fat boy. Now, how about a quickie? Oh. It's Trampy Tim. How's life on the street, you smelly deadbeat loafer? Hey, well, I wouldn't have been so bad if it's fuck cut on that you. Guess a drink or something, you know? Sorry, mate. I drank all my reserves at last night's party for one. Drink? I want a drink. Guess a drink. Your pain is my pain. Ain't nothing that can't be fixed with a crowbar or a cherry bake wheel. Here you go, pal. Just what you need. Oh, oh. What was that liquid? What a strange sensation. I've always wondered what it would feel like to be sober. I was sober once, for about three hours. Never again. I'll turn my life around. Why? I'm not 
I even get a job? One step at a time, mate. A thousand thank yous, Hector. You're a true saint. So long, old friend. Ah, oh, piss off. I liked him better before. I don't know why they call this stuff mouthwash. I use it everywhere. Hardly seems fair, cuffed to the radiator. Who needs keys when you've got a crowbar? Ha! Keys! Exactly what I need. What now, yeah? Hey, what are you doing? Piss off, crud. Go home. I told you, man. I want my asbo. Sorry, punk. Loophole in the justice system. I have no option. What loophole? The loophole where all our staff are ponced off and I'm not a babysitter now beating. I ain't going nowhere till I get charged with something. Out. No way, mate. I'm staying until you implicate me in a crime. Oh. Listen. I've got nothing for you at the minute, but if I can use you, I'll let you know. Well, I can live with that. You're in my infantry now. If I call you, you'd better come running. Yeah, whatever. Clappers Reek, the town that took the great out of Britain. Well, let's shoot the crow. I should have known it wouldn't be that easy. Let's see what sort of half assed repair job it will take to get this rust box mobile. Huh, I think the battery's dead. And it needs a fan belt. You still short on customers? Maybe this'll help. You're gonna spit or swallow that. That girl. Wanna tag along? I'm sure I can find something better to do. Well, guess it's just you and me now, Slob Jeff. Yes, Tim, should you sleep on Matsatka? Not after what happened last time, love. I'm surprised this didn't snap under the strain of her thighs. I would have. Would you like to upgrade your indecent exposure charge to a sexual misconduct? Yeah, bruv. Anything with SEX in it has got to be good for my rep. What do I have to do? See that lady behind you? Sex pest! Sex pest! Well, well, well. It looks like this criminal. Finally got charged.
Sorry, I oh, don't know what come over me. Psycho! Sicko! Hey, Twitchy! Wanna learn how to boost a car? Soldier crime doesn't pay, kid. Except maybe armed robbery, if you're quick. Now, all I need is a fan belt. This might work. Perfect fit. That should have her running. Definitely a her. Only a female could make my life this miserable. Her in like an asthmatic donkey. See ya, tossers. What's keeping Hector? That terrorist fellow is growing exceedingly restless. I've never met a chap so hell-bent on causing such a fracas. A cracking shot, though. We really could use someone like him on the force. Good if you're here, boss. Let me bring you up to speed. Exotico. You mock 
monster! Sir, you as well! My third demand. Besides myself, I can think of only one man trying to do good for this community. Oh, stop, please. You're embarrassing me. There's a dedicated and optimistic fellow running an independent information booth in front of Cottage Park. He has repeatedly taken a brilliant beautification plan to town council for funding and has been repeatedly denied. Speak to the man, find out what he needs, then get it for him. Ah, oh, there's me pen. What were you saying? Those are my demands. Come back when you've completed them. I have nothing more to say. Well, I'll got something to say to you. Breathing anyway. So, where am I supposed to be going again? Oh, a map that should help. Well, well, if it isn't Blind Alley and in front of the pawn shop, no less. By the overwhelming whiff of body odour eaten on a prawn curry, I must be in the presence of Inspector Hector. Back again, are you? <laughs> What's in the bum bag today, you depraved, lecherous perv? Oh, you know, the usual. Yeah, I figured as much. Yep, <laughs> you know it. Filthy rich. The hub of the Clapper's Reek porn industry. Well, he's not really the centre, but we call him the hub because he's large enough for things to rotate around him. Hey, Rich, still peddling silicon enhanced pipe dreams to the pathetic local palm jockeys. Hey, Cabal, a good thing you stopped to buy. You're two payments behind on your Razzle subscription. Uh, oh, right, yeah, uh, thanks for the reminder. Who could pass this up? Pays to be prepared. You've been a regular at Exotico for some time now, haven't you? <laughs> you bet. <laughs> the loyalty card was my idea. <laughs> You know how to get past the security door behind the counter. A matter of fact, I know the code. You what? Give it to me. Well, well, Blind Alley got something you need, so what can you do for Blind Alley? Oh, I suppose you've got something in mind already. <laughs> Blind Alley needs a favour. I'm bursting for a little <laughs> companionship. Okay, but I'll draw the line at mouth kissing. Uh, not you! Hell, Hector, even I have limits! Thank God. Look, just get me something from inside. Something <laughs> tangible. Tangible? Well, like one of those orange smelly soaps. Oh, come on, Hector. Get me something a man like me can really appreciate, if you know what I mean. Oh, the things I do in the name of justice. Oh, now the pounding's outside of me head. This is almost worse than having to touch that paper clip. Remind me not to put my hand in my pocket. Damn, I'm good. That is. Hmm. 
bigger on the inside. Well, let's get to it. My God, there's a squatter in here. Eh? Barkles at the gate? You'll never take me alive, you damn dirty Barkles! Oh, who am I kidding? I'm basically dead anyway. Any good war stories, old timer? Ah, you don't want to hear an old man jabber on about war. Okay, fine. It were done. Air dropped into the thick of it, strapped to this very chair. Me and me unit were cut off, cornered. Three Borkos approaching. Had to smear ourselves with our own feces to avoid detection. Unkered down in a ditch. Turned out to be two sisters carrying their gerbil to vet. Meant mincemeat out of them. Happy times. Tell me another war story. It were early morning, February. The big freeze, we called it. No time for imagination back then. Ship had been stuck in the ice for three weeks. Cold, damn cold. So cold I wasn't able to keep me bearings. I have metallic ones now. Right bugger going through airport security, I'll bet. You wouldn't believe. Tell me more about the war. Dawn. North Atlantic. We were deep behind enemy lines. Just spotted a large shoal of god off the starboard bow. And then out of nowhere, an Icelandic trawler appeared. It were bearing down on us. No hope of avoiding them. Had to engage. Oh, I still get flashbacks. Night time's the worst. I can still taste the salted snacks that they offered us during heated negotiations. What war was you in, anyway? You what? All of them, bucko. So, after the war, how'd you end up here, in this clock? Well, tanks, clocks, they're all the same on the inside, really. What's wrong with this clock? Thirty years ago, lightning struck that tower and it hasn't run since. Were you in here when it happened? Yep, fried me cable. Thank God for this VCR. Have you tried fixing it? Clapper's Leak Preservation Society always banging on at me to fix it. I told him, you try taking a neck cutter to the chest, then see if you feel like fixing the bloody clock. So, now that we're chums, what would it take to get this clock working again? When the lightning hit, it blew the minute hand and the X clear off. What do you need to fix the minute hand? A new one. I mean, what's it need to look like? Any bit of metal about six foot long should do it. Bit of ornamentation never hurt either. Tell me more about this X. You know, the bit of clock between the 1X and the X1. Oh, the Roman numeral 10, you mean? No, the flippin' X. Who's the clock expert here? Why don't I see what I can do? You go find me some parts, and then maybe we'll talk. What if I turn this off? It's giving me a work-related head injury. Or I could just stand over here. Here's to erasing our memories by the means of fermented liquid. Hold it there, young book. That stuff will erase more than your memory. Sounds perfect. I'm talking about your stomach and probably all the tubes along the way. Take a gander. Bucket. That man replaced it war. Solid iron. Damn, always like that table. Just don't get any on your hands. I lost two fingers just this morning.
cares about Clapper's reek? I do, and you do too. Your donation could make all the difference. Who's he talking to? Sir, yes, you there, sir. Welcome. Haven't seen you around these parts before. My visits usually occur at night with a forensics team. Ah, so you're a local then? As much as I like to admit it. Spare some change to save Clapper's reek? No thanks, Chugger. I've already spent the whole day trying to save Clapper's reek. Me too, fellow citizen. Have a great day. Hi there. I've got a little something for you. What, me? Yes, you sir. Come on over. What's this? Don't tell me you've never seen one of these around town. It's a Who Cares badge. Everyone's wearing them. It's not exactly inspirational, but strangely appropriate. Who cares about Clapper's Reek? You do. Wear it with pride. Have you got any bugger off badges? Fresh out. Why the hell am I here? Ah, oh, Hector. Yeah, I do hope you don't mind being pulled off your current case. No worries. I polished off the last bottle of my current case last night, in fact. Jolly good, then. Have we made any progress? So far, we've come up short. Nobody's lived long enough to get any information out of them. Can't we just throw some money at this worm fart? You're referring to our we negotiate with terrorists policy. We usually drop track quicker than a sailor on leave in these situations. Well, you know, normally I jump at the chance to hand over a large sum to make this all go away, but they are budgets that get pinched on the bill. I thought we had some sort of terrorism slush fund. Ah, uh, yes, about that. I'm afraid this slush fund was eaten into slightly by last year's Policeman's ball. Sweet Jeremy tap dancing Christ. A jar of pocket change? Those chocolate fountains don't come cheap. Well, what am I meant to do with this? Tempt him down to the Palladium for a few goes on the Tutney Nudges? I'm sure you'll use it with the best of your ability. There's a good chap. All right, bucket beggar, what are you out to eradicate? Climate change? Ah, no, but a noble cause all the same. Think globally, act locally, I say. No, you're looking at the founding member of the Clappers Reek Preservation Society. Clappers Reek has something worth preserving. Of course it does. Clapper's Reek has a rich and diverse culture. So does a Petri dish at the CDC. I'm here to help. What was that, sir? I said I'm here to help. Actually, I heard you the first time. I just didn't believe it. Where exactly are my donations going besides your bucket? I have a plan to tidy this town from the inside out. Oh, like some sort of municipal enema? Exactly! Would you like to hear about it? Yes. In this binder, I've got the answer to Clapper's Rick's troubles. What? Sarin gas? What? Nothing. Go on. <laughs> a joke. <laughs> no, nothing like that. I've spent the last few years putting together a strategy to rekindle this fine town's wonderful and exciting heritage. Phase one is to pin one of my inspirational badges onto each and every resident of Clapper's Reek. Handing out pain-numbing alcohol would be much more effective. Mark my words. We'll put Clapper's Reek back on the map, shedding its unappealing crime capital of Britain image. It'll be an uphill struggle, but we'll get there in the end with some smiles, a few badges, and a bit of spit and polish. 
Well, there's no shortage of spit in this town. That's the spirit. We're halfway there. A day supply of chump change. Here is a donation to what I believe the restoration of an equitable social climate in Clapper's Reef is worth. 22p. Thank you, kind sir. And here's a little something for you. What are these? Clapper's Reef breath mints. Dissolves on your tongue, makes your breath sweet as the song of the clapper finch. Oh, I am never, never eating one of these. Have I helped you? Hey, every little helps. I'm a long way from done. Are you saying you're willing to do more, noble citizen? Depends. What's the minimum I can contribute to consider you helped? Surprisingly little, considering the state of the town, I mean. How much? See, my city-wide renovation plan outlays an entire budget structure. Oh, let's see, taking into account property values, printing costs, a small PR team, the tanker of ammonia. How much? 25,000. You what? Pounds? It's really very little when you consider all the facts. Where the bleeding hell am I supposed to pull that kind of cash? I've got another donation tin, if you like. You expect to raise 25k off the pocket lint of this town full of grunts? You know what they say, from tiny acorns do mighty oak trees grow. Oh, and from tiny malformed babies do epic tossers like you grow. I'll be back when I find some funding, or a fairy flaming godmother. I look forward to it. I've got... Have an absolutely super day! Bite me! No way, ho! That baby ain't mine! Hey! Where's you going, fat boy? Go catch a bus, short ass. I'm here on business. Yeah, fugly? What kind of business? Because I'm thinking we could make it our business. If we're going to do business, one of you is going to have to translate. Now, I'd stab you, but I don't want to get your blood all over my new trainers, yeah? Ba -da -ba -da -da. Oh, thanks, boys. You've got a bright future ahead. Hey, boys. You still looking for a bit of mind-altering tablet-based entertainment? Huh? We don't want nothing from you, copper. You trying to set us up? Go commit your hate crimes somewhere else. Shame. I had a few items from the evidence room I was looking to offload. But you little boys probably couldn't handle it. Whoa, whoa, hold up. What you got? Oh, never mind. Just the latest party experience. Hold up, bruv. Sorry to bother you. I said hold on. Let me see those again. Yeah, mate. I done these before. They're called... Uh, they're called... Uh, no. No, yeah, yeah, mate. I take knob all at a time. It's wicked. Makes you like all full and that. Hey, I'm not interested in your life story. You want this or not? Yeah, we's interested. Hand them over. Careful, lads. Those things are curiously strong. Blow your heads off. Well, clean up your sinuses at the very least. Rip it up, boys. Let's go. Mental, mental, chicken oriental. Nob, oh, nob, we love nob. Oh, nob's great. Oh, nob's nob. Nob's wonderful. Right, now I know why some mammals eat their children. Red, my favourite colour. It's wedged in there pretty tight. I need to grease it up somehow to slide it out. My staff is now greased. Ah, this should appease that crotchety old time lord. I know where you live. I'll be back for you.
Now, all you've got to do is bring the cash or bring the thing. Do we have a deal? Oh, I've got to go. I think George Michael just walked in. Details in the first stall. Talk soon. I'll leave you to it. I hope everything comes out okay. Hey! Mm, guess he finally passed that stone. Here I sit, broken hearted. No, no, that can't be it. Hang on, this looks promising. Bring 25k in small bills to the bush out front of the public toilets. For identification, I'll be sporting a distinctive hairstyle and holding a red designer handbag. You want the thing? Bring the cash. Don't be late. Well, that's very descriptive and convenient. Sounds like a good opportunity to make a bit of cash. I just need uh, a distinctive hairstyle and a red handbag. Hey, I brought you this. Eh, uh, it'll do. Go on upstairs if you like. I'll get to work as soon as my show's done. Still don't mean we're friends, though. Doubt he'll be needing this. I mean, seriously, a drill to fix a clock. Probably has a set of really tidy hammers or something. Just a talentless prat, he's also a criminal. That ladder heads back down into the crypt, uh, living room. You know, Papa's got a brand new bag. I believe I can accommodate that request. You see anything you like? Got anything red? Nope. Maroon? Nope. Crimson? Just what's I, pal. Fine, just give me that blue one with the G on it. Ah, a G G la G. Excellent choice. Your wife will be over the moon. Don't have a wife. Your girlfriend will not say no the night. Don't have a girlfriend. That'll be 30 quid. And don't worry, your secret's safe with me. Actually, this handbag is about to be used in a covert police operation. Let me introduce myself. D.I. Hector, Clappers Reek Police. Ah, on the house. Have a great day, officer. It's one for the video library. Oh wow, he's got enough crap in here to open a stall at the market. Christ, he's finished the bowl. Now nah, you're just being stupid. Stuff. Even the vapor took the air off me knuckles.
What are you, an idiot? I'll just have to get him first. I recently purchased this sex doll, but it didn't completely satisfy me. Let's take a look. Rodna Jeremy's moustache. I can see why. I demand a full refund. Oh, absolutely. I can't give you cash, but I can give you a store credit. Well, how about an exchange? No problem. Are you alright with the display model there? Well, that will be sufficient, thank you. Is it safe to leave there until I can arrange transport? I'll do my best to fend off the depraved, deviant porn rats. You know how to make a customer feel special. Hey, Ali, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Many happy returns. Do with her what you will. Just don't do it anywhere near me. Oh, Hector. 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 And don't do it while saying my name. Oh, yes. <laughs> <coughs> the door code? Come closer. Not sure if I want to stand that close to you. That's amazing. I have the same combination on my luggage. Thank you, Hector. You've made an old man very happy. And you have made a middle-aged man very nauseous. Hey, Rich, something's wrong with the TV. There's no porn on it. Sweet the mother of Debbie. Now, I'll just have to type in Blind Alley's code. Oh, I should have been able to guess that. Uh-oh. I wonder if these are the set off the alarm type or the cut you into tiny pieces type. I can't go anywhere till I turn these lasers off. It goes nothing. Now, that was a puzzle. Filthy Rich's office. There's got to be something incriminating I can take this place down with. Well, there's always something hidden behind pictures in places like this. Uh -huh. Well, it's not really my style, but you do have to admit it's rather distinctive. Here's to our health. So, uh, tell me about yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can see the part from here. Those damn kids are still raving on breath mints. Well, this ought to shut that clocksmith up. Let's open up the delivery hatch to the basement.
pain in the ass getting it up that ladder. Would have been a bigger pain in the ass for me. True enough. X looks good up there. Bit garish, perhaps. Came up short in Rich's office, but maybe his basement is a different story. Gotta be something down here that'll give Rich a shakedown. And what is that awful rank? What in the name of... He really will allow anything to be returned. Smith, let's see if your stomach is stronger than these building supports. Rich better watch where he steps, uh, drives. Dodgy wiring. This socket's hooked up to the mains. That ought to pack quite a charge. Ready for a shakedown. Brings a tear to my eye. Must be the asbestos. If anyone asks, you didn't see anything. A red airbag matches my bloodstained shoes. My own mother wouldn't recognise me. My own mother wouldn't recognise me. My own mother wouldn't recognise me. Rubbish everywhere. This better work. Oh, I feel a bit stupid. Distinctive hairstyle, red designer handbag, it's in. He better have brought the thing. If he's jerking us around, you know what to do. Oh. I brought the cash, you bring the thing. Maybe, did you bring the cash? I just told you I bought the cash. Now where's the thing? I'll show you the thing when I see the cash. Trust me, I brought the cash. Now where's the thing? Show me the money and maybe I'll show you the thing. Show me the thing and you can just take the damn money. Of course I brought the thing. Good, show me the thing. How do I know you're the guy who needs the thing? You put in my chain. I am definitely not pulling your chain. Glad to hear it. Now where's the thing? I'll show you the thing when I see the cash. Trust me, I brought the cash. Now where's the thing? I don't trust anybody who says trust me. You can trust me, trust me. There you just did it again, twice. I was pulling your chain, now where's the thing? Of 
course I brought the thing. Good, show me the thing. Let me just grab the thing for you. You telling me the thing's in there? Maybe. Would you expect the thing to fit in here? Would you? <laughs> well, you and I both know the things too. To what? What was we talking about? Just hand over the thing before Kimbo has to slap it out of you. All right, I'm ready to deal. Listen, Featherhead, you either have the thing or you don't. I'm a very busy man. You tosspot, you don't think I'm stupid enough to bring the thing with me, do you? What are you saying? Where's the thing? Do I have to spell it out for you? So you're saying you don't have the thing? Think about it, what security do I have? How do I know that once I hand over the thing, your monkey's not going to tear me arms off and pick his fleas with them? Well, I... That's right, I don't. So here's how it's going to play out. You hand over the cash, and then once I know I'm safe, I'll call you with the location of the thing. We clear? That sounds fair to me. Kimbo? I'll be expecting your phone call. You've got one hour. Cross my heart. That's just about the dumbest. Oop, spoke too soon. Hey, Featherhead, what are you trying to pull? Huh? You don't even have my number. Oh, right. It's 028 904 23983. If I don't answer right away, it means I'm in the car. Might get me by text. Cheerio. I can't believe that worked. Out there, somewhere, there's a guy walking around with a thing. Boy, he's gonna be pissed. There you go, 25,000 pounds. No! Say it isn't true! Oh, believe me, I wish it wasn't. My dream has arrived. I never thought this day would come. The day Hector just hands out for a briefcase of cash to a complete bull sniffer, me neither. Ah, oh, Hector, imagine what this town could be if there were more people like you living in it. Yeah, imagine. Hey, uh, not to push it, but uh, have you got plans for the rest of that change jar? Oh. Hector, you're a true saint. I really wish people would stop saying that. In all the years I've been handing out these badges, finally I know the answer. Who cares about Clapper's Reek? You do, my friend. You do. Enough. I've got things to do. Operation Clapper's Cleanup is about to begin. <laughs> the count up to now? 37. All right, Crosstay, I've done everything on your list. If you let them go now, I can still make the lunch special at the Broken Arms. Huh, you think that's all? Town's fixed now, is it? You do a little spring cleaning and we all just go home, is that it? Oh, here we go. Oh, no, no, no. I have much bigger plans for this town. You were so proficient at completing my first list of arms, I have a whole set of new ones oh. for you. Now write this down. Number four, clean the deck sheet down to the public fountain. Number five, have the flower beds in the centre of town spread out at least three of the Ten Commandments. Number six. Food for the ostriches has arrived. What toppings? Uh, mushroom, sweet corn, pepperoni. Well, I'd like to offer myself in trade for the ostriches. I'm testing the pizza as I approach the building slowly and deliberately. Did you place the puck in the pizza? You feel like I'm about to store in a really bad porno. I'm picking up something.
What in the only living toss? Ball bags. Should have stayed outside with the rest of the imbeciles. <laughs> Looks like this pizza party's over. For you. Good people, clappers ring for me service. Thank you for your time. Well, well, look at you, all proud of yourself. You got to the end of my game. Well, bravo. Get yourself over to www.theeptophiles.com forward slash aren't I a clever clogs to get your free gift. It's not a very good free gift, as you probably gathered by the word free. Then head down the pub for a pint. You'll have to pay for the pint yourself, though. Tosser. <laughs>